Great greetings, everyone. This is Nat. And this is Jam. And welcome back to another installment of the SpongeBob Reviews. Today, we're reviewing the Season 6 episode, Boating Buddies. Squidward gets a speeding ticket and has to go to boating school for a day. And of course, SpongeBob's there, because SpongeBob's been trying to graduate boating school forever and hasn't yet. So apparently Mrs. Puff, in addition to teaching people how to drive, also teaches the, I guess, the safety class that people have to take when they get tickets. So... SpongeBob starts acting really, really weird. He can hear Squidward's breathing yeah. from inside his own house. Yeah, this is one of those episodes that features creepy stalker SpongeBob, where he is obsessed with Squidward yeah. and wanting to be his best friend. They also draw SpongeBob with really weird looking facial expressions, then, which I don't like at all. When Squidward is telling his story about what happened with the feeding ticket. Which I like Squidward, how he tells the story. Oh, yeah, he tells he, he tries to, He tries to make it sound like he was doing everything right. But while he's doing that, SpongeBob is acting very creepy. But I do like how SpongeBob tells his story in such a vague way. So Squidward gets beaten up a couple of times. You know. I think it's actually kind of funny how he gets beat up. You know, here, it's, well, he maybe doesn't deserve it. it the, the way it happens in this episode is actually kind of funny. It's kind of funny. But he gets beaten up and he's in bandages so he can't write. This sequence makes no sense when you think about it it because why is he doing a test if he can't physically write also earlier he got damaged and then he just just healed up the next scene (laughs) squidward has some pretty funny remarks like when they're at lunchtime he sits by trash cans and he said time to do what i did in grade school it was kind of sad but funny and then when mrs puff pairs squidward up with spongebob didn't see that one coming yeah and i guess the the sequence where like they drive into the science lab and then there's these guys who are doing an experiment on a mailman was so weird that, yeah, that 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 was worthy of the regular show it was a supernatural kind of a thing that happened just out of nowhere it didn't really fit in the episode in general even though squid really doesn't do anything to deserve any of the punishment it gets i think it's actually kind of funny in this episode the way that they set up the punch lines and the way they're executed i think is better than an episode like choir boys Or smooth jazz at Bikini Bottom, where there's really no humor to any of the stuff that actually happens. And while Squitter, it's pretty funny. Fun Job is probably the worst part of the episode, and that kind of lowers the quality a bit. The fact that they wrote SpongeBob so out of character here, it kind of ruins some of the episode. Especially the setup is just really weird and kind of annoying. So, not a bad episode, but I can definitely say I'm going to be giving the episode two spatulas. And I'm going to give it one turn in it, because even though there's some funny jokes in it, I really don't like creepy, stalking Spongebob. I really don't. 